Anyhow, we may take that out when we come back. Anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you'll come back next week and join us, and we may do a little more sketching, and uh, then we'll do some painting. Appreciate you coming by so very, very much. Goodbye, and God bless. Hello, everyone. So glad you could join us today. Come over to the board and we'll show you what we've been working on. Actually, this is totally different uh, from what we usually do. Normally on the show, we just paint. Uh, but today, we decided that we would do some sketching. I, I'm from the old school, so I learned to draw before I could paint. So come over to the board and I'll show you what we've been working on. Now all of this is just taken, I, I don't know if you watched the, the last week's show, but this is just taken from her head. This is not from a photograph or anything. This is just from our imagination. Now, I've, I've drawn a board. I've drawn an artist sitting here. I guess this is me. This is actually for Ruthie. Uh, I put the hand here. I sort of like that hand there instead of holding a palette. This palette could be laying somewhere, but I don't like the looks of the hand. Uh, and I may, may change that. I don't know. What, what do you think? Do you think we should put a palette there? Or? Now, a palette would uh, probably come in here and, and take up so much room. You probably would see a thumb come through the palette. You probably would see the fingers come through the palette. Do you like that better? Ruthie, are you in here? She's not in here. Okay. I tell you, I believe I like that better. I could move it up a little bit so you can see the hand a little better. But I don't think so. I believe I like that better. Let's, let's make a palette there. Now, in order to have a palette, you have to have colors on it, right? I'll take that hand off of there. Okay, there's the sun coming through. There's the fingers coming through. Okay, what do you think of that? I'm going to do just a little bit more sketching. Then we're going to grab some color. I'm going to take a little bit off right there. Yeah, about like that. Now the good thing about doing a sketch like this you know exactly where your colors are going to be. That air is pretty well covered up. I think mine is most of the time. Okay. Now sometimes I wear a smock, but today this is just a shirt, so we may just tuck it in there. I'm going to do a little bit more work right here on this tennis shoe. I don't like the way it looks right there. Let me erase that. All right, that pencil, let me grab another one here. Try to keep plenty of sharpened pencils. 
Okay, here goes the foot. I thought it was got a big foot, hadn't it? I think we'll end it right there this time. Now I'm going to come down through here. I'm going into a little more detail probably than I need to there. Put a little bit of dark right under there. Okay, I believe we can start now. Now what you can do if you want to, you can make wood grain on this. But we'll probably do that with paint. I see one other thing I want to do here. I want to Touch that eye up a little bit. I'm just refining the drawing just a little bit. I don't like that wrinkle there, so I'm going to change it. I'll bring it back here. These are sort of random things that you you can do. You can put them anywhere you want to, really. It's got a big button there, ain't it? Let's put a smaller button there. Okay, that, that just about finishes our drawing. I've got a lot of extra uh, lines here that I probably don't need. Okay, I think that finishes our cartoon. Now, if you want to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something to that nose. And that hair, okay. Now, what I want you to do, if you will, is follow me over to where I'm going to spray it. And the reason I'm going to spray it, I don't want to lose anything, because sometimes when you put color on here, you lose some of your sketch. So follow me over here and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. Come right over to the board here. We'll lay it down right there. And I believe this is it. That's it. This is the clear. Now what I'm going to do is just put a misty coat on it to start with. I'm just trying to do my sketch. I don't know if we'll do much to the background. We might just leave it totally, totally white.
Jim, I hope this don't kill you, but I'm sort of used to smelling this stuff. Okay, that, that should do it. I'm going to show you one more time. I'll go over it real lightly. All right. Now, if you're following me back over to the board, we'll uh, actually start cleaning it up and painting it. Follow me over here. We're going to set it down there. Okay, now, if you notice, we've got our palette here, and I'll explain it to you just a little bit. We've got three whites out. Mainly the reason I do that is because I use white for to lighten a lot of different colors, and I take one of them in and intermix, and one of them I try to keep straight white. So if, so if I need something really white, I'll have it. And these two or those two I can mix with. One of them I won't mix with. I'll keep it white. We've got about eight colors on here. You don't have to have that many colors, but uh, sometimes it helps. Now, in order to choose a brush, we'll come over here. I've got a lot of different brushes here. I've got different sizes, which is a great advantage. And to be honest with you, in what we're doing, you need some smaller ones like this because some of the areas are pretty small, as, as you can see. We'll start out with the medium one here. I'm going to wrench it out. Now normally the first thing I do is I mix up my flesh color. And it takes white to do that. And we mix it anywhere, but let's do it right here. It takes white yellow and red and I probably got too much red there but and as you can see that's probably a little little darker than skin tone so I'm gonna go back and grab a little more white A little more white. Now that's just about what I want, I think. Now if you want to, you can darken it with just a touch of brown. But I believe that's, that's about what I want to start with. We'll wipe that little tool off. Now let's get a little of this on the brush. Come over to the canvas and we'll just check it out and see if it's about the right color. First of all, we'll put a little bit on the hand. I believe I want it a little bit lighter than that, so let's do that. I'm going to come right at the edge here. Make it lighter. Now if you notice on this particular one, I didn't put my linseed oil on it. You can do that, and it makes it flow a little bit better. But this particular one is so small that I believe we can get away without it.
Now, I tell you, our palette, you, I could leave it solid white, which I may do that. But I need to put some color on it, but we'll do that a little bit later. Now, that's the base color. That's the base color for our, our face. And what you have to do is be real careful. And I probably need to start with a little bit lighter or smaller brush. Okay, now that's, that's the basic color that we start with. Now, there's a lot of wood on this particular one. Of course, my board is so dirty, <laughs> I probably should not paint it <laughs> like my board. So let's take a little brown and pull it right here. That same color. Probably don't want it that dark either. Although, that would match a lot of spots on mine. <laughs> I'll probably lighten that up a whole lot. That's way too dark, so let's lighten that up right down here. And I want a little yellow in it. It's almost the same color as the flesh color, but not quite. I got a little more yellow than I want in it, but it's getting there. Put a touch more red in it. Now this color, you don't have to mix it real, real good, but I'm, I am. <laughs> okay, that's about what we want for the board. Now I, on that particular color, I can use a larger brush. So let's go ahead and put some of that color down. I'm actually putting the, some streaks in it, which is what I really want. I'll show you what we'll do there in a minute. I want it to be a little grainy, in other words. And I, what I'm using here is just actually straight white.
and just blending it in. Now I'm, I'm going over the face a little bit, but later on we will refine that and outline the face and make it stand out a little bit. Now, if you notice, I've got a little bit of grain in that. And we can add a little bit more. And we can also do it with a pencil if you want to. Let me put a little on the side here. I'm doing most of this freehand, if you notice, or, or one-handed. That uh, little board across the bottom. We'll define that a little bit more later on. All of this is wood grain. Now, now the reason I'm going ahead and painting all of this, I may not put any color in the background. I'm, I may leave it white. Uh, and, and if I do put color back there, it, it won't be much. Now this is wood grain too, and like I said, we could have went ahead and put wood grain in with the pencil and then just sort of dry brush this in. But what I probably will do is come back either with a pencil or a brown marker and put some wood grain in this. I probably won't put it in with the brush, other, more than what I've got there. Now, if you, if you look at the brush, sometimes you'll think, well, he's just got a brush that's too big to do that with. I learned a long time ago that 
that if you use just a little bit bigger brush than what you think you need, you can finish a lot quicker. It makes it go a lot faster and, and a lot better, actually. It also teaches you to con the control of a brush. Now I'm going to put a little bit of highlight in there. Not much. The reason I'm not going to put much is because later on, like I told you, we'll come back and we'll put our highlight in. Now we'll make this a little lighter in here. Whoops, too light. I'm going to have to define that line a little bit better than that. And the way I'll do that is with a little bit of darker. Let's make a little bit here. Let's see if that's dark enough. I believe it would be if I was on the on that line. Yeah. Now nah, just a little bit. Now. Okay, I like that. All right. I'm just making that a little darker around there, so when I put the flesh color back in, he'll stand out a little bit. 